the Wu Jia Tu Bon River region in central Vietnam. 10,000 square kilometers of flatland stretching between the sea and the mountains. For generations, people here have made their living from irrigated rice, and they are used to living with seasonal floods and droughts. But now they face a new problem. The fresh water becomes more and more salty. The salinity in the rice fields is causing significant yield losses. The farmers blame global climate change. They think the rising sea level is pushing the seawater into the land. In addition, the drinking water in the cities is becoming scarce. The drinking water treatment plant in the Wuza River uh, needs to pump fresh water from upstream to be able to supply the city of Da Nang with drinking water. Alexandra Naudit works at the Institute for Technology and Resources Management in the tropics in Cologne, Germany. She coordinates an international team of experts that focuses on sustainable land use management in the Da Nang region, a project called Luchi. Among other scientific questions, the experts tried to figure out the saltwater intrusion problem. Could it be an effect of rising sea levels? So far, no climate change signals have been detected in the region besides a slight increase of temperatures. The scientists pinpointed the real cause. In the last decade, reservoirs have been built to produce electricity for this energy-hungry and rapidly developing country. Five big reservoirs in the mountains are already holding back the water, and four more are planned. As a result, some riverbeds became significantly drier. A hydrological model implemented by Lucci showed that in some cases almost no water was reaching the rice fields, with the effect that more seawater is intruding onto the flatlands. Gradually, the stakeholders become aware of the consequences of their policy. In workshops with the provincial and some district governments, we jointly develop future scenarios which address key indicators of change and drivers stemming from social economy and also the natural environment. Water management is only one example. The impacts of immense population growth, along with socio-economic change, will be taken into account. Last but not least, the effects of climate change in the region will be evaluated. The Luchi project will give assistance and encouragement in developing a balanced and sustainable land use management in a rapidly developing country.